So guys, before we start the video, I would just like to say I'm doing a giveaway with Clash with Prestige. Um, the giveaway link will be in the description down below, so be sure to like this video up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Yo, what's up guys, my name is Steven, and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Now today, we are going to be viewing some fucking Arena 1 gameplays where all those dumbass noobs are playing in right now. So hopefully, we can get some really hilarious um, shit out of these guys. And I just saw the Elite Barbarians are being leaked or released in the coming soon section, so I guess the leaks were correct. It's the Tornado spell, Elite Barbarians, and then you have the Clone spell, um and the ice or not ice wizard how about to say ice wizard it's called the electro wizard i think it's basically like a moving tap spell but anyways guys we are hopping into our first replay where we have alpha sonarzo Rouse. i don't even know how to pronounce that guy's name but vinci then ozo and look at that we got a fireball straight towards the tower with no troops or buildings behind it and we got a goblin bale thrown on his side of the arena on an offensive push now, yes, I know these guys are new to the game, but still funny to see what these guys are doing, you know, throwing goblin barrels on their side of the arena, fireballing towers with no troops right next to them, two fireballs. So we got the mini P.E.K.K.A. coming in, and that wasn't a half decent, that wasn't a half bad push, actually. He throws the mini P.E.K.K.A. down to counter, I don't know, some troops, and then it goes on an offensive push, and look at that. Even though the goblin barrel was thrown on his side of the arena and not at the tower directly, he still manages to take a one crown with the Skarmie and Goblin Bale. Both really good cards since the Skarmie actually got a buff. Now it's one of the most overpowered cards in the game. And yet this guy throws a bomber. I think he actually placed the bomber down too quick because that's when the minions started um, coming towards his tower. So we got a level 4 versus a level 2. And Vincioso, he also has a lightning spell. So that's going to be even, that's going to make it even harder for the level 2 to win this. I mean sad that there's still like level 4 people in the low arenas and especially in Goblin Stadium. Um, anyways, he has the knight going in so, oh what the fuck was that dude, he, he just dropped the witch on the other side when he could have dropped it behind the knight and that would have been a way better play but um, Mitiozo he finally placed the goblin barrel on defense and he threw it down on the witch so definitely well played right there to him. Uh, the witch ended up being shut down but I guess he could have thrown it on the goblin uh, could have thrown the goblin barrel on the witch itself rather than just you know throwing it on the side but the main because it's coming in right now but it's easily shut down by the towers and one fireball it didn't quite shut it down it still got like one hit off but i guess it still worked out for um Rosia. now he has his archers going in hopefully he actually supports it with a giant nope he's gonna drop his witch on the other side with no cover to support it which is a pretty stupid move and look at that he dropped the giant behind the witch after the witch already went down and yeah that actually worked out for him because the tower it went down already you got the giant working on that tower taking it down and we just evened it out i think uh vinci ozo he actually got off at this point or just left the match um and looks like Razia is actually going to take the three crown to victory just because his opponent's afk i mean why is this even on tv royale tv royale shouldn't exist for arena ones to like arena four because people they seriously don't know what they're doing down there and yet they still get featured for their shitty ass gameplay just like this one so he finally grew some brains and put the witch behind the giant this time he also got the skeletons working out helping the giant and there we go two crown victory from Razia. Now, these guys, I mean, I don't seriously know what they're doing, but it's pretty funny to see these guys battle, throwing fireballs at your opponent's tower directly without any troops behind it to hit. You also got people throwing goblin nails on their side of the arena. Let's see what we get next. Oh, look at this. This guy has a P.E.K.K.A., a Lava Hound, three Musketeers, and a Golem in Arena 1. This guy actually just dropped down from Royal Arena to Goblin Stadium. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a really interesting match, and let's see if he starts out with the Lava Hound, because if it were Meowdy, we would start out with the Lava Hound and P.E.K.K.A. and go for a Goblin Barrel push after that. So the level 2 is going to drop a Musketeer behind its tower and start off with a giant push and think he's actually going to support it with the Bomber too. So here comes the Goblin Barrel, but no, it's going to go directly on the King's Tower, activating that. And now he has to deal with um, a Bomber and a Musketeer at his tower right now. So the Giant, I mean, the Giant's going to do some major work and the Lava Hound, it, it's not doing that much, obviously, because, you know, it's super 
like his damage is super low obviously so he's gonna drop a P.E.K.K.A right there but unfortunately for him the bomber is already working away on his tower and the P.E.K.K.A it's gonna take most of uh, that damage from the skeletons and Valkyrie but looks like he is gonna drop some guards and that will counter the musketeer and other musketeer I guess but the lava hound is working away on his tower and he's gonna arrow a little bit too early those, those lava puffs there are gonna come out and take the tower down or what's left of it so um, he has that P.E.K.K.A coming in and I think Sculpture actually fireballs that P.E.K.K.A leaving like 1 HP down on it for the tower to snipe and he actually throws the rocket right now and I think the level A he dropped down to Goblin Stadium just to get on Royal Arena because I've seen a lot of people do this. You can clutch or let your opponent clutch a victory if you have like 100 HP left on there and you just let them take the win and you get shown on TV Royale because your victory was a clutch for the opponent and I guess that's how the system is supposed to work I guess. But he's going to drop the Royal G on his opponent's tower taking it down to like 125 I, I guess. From where it ended or from where I watched the replay, it was actually 125 HP left. And guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.